years of talking with him. He was very depressed. Actually just got off drinking. And was getting off the drinking is when he died. He he wandered wandered away one day visiting our old campsite. Uh, it happened to be the night of a big snowstorm. Unfortunately, many other people live as Johnny Langford did in some of the wealthiest counties in the country surrounding the nation's capital. There are thousands of forgotten people who live in tents. They're small but growing villages scattered just out of sight behind the tree lines. Are they getting the kind of help they need? Is there a better way of helping them? You should have known that everybody feels the way I do about you now. Where all the roads that lead you here are winding. And there are many things that I would like to say to you, but I don't know how. Well, my name is Patrick. I've been, you know, in and out of the system. In and out, you know, being homeless when I'm not in the system, homeless. Because I try to ask for my family as little as possible. They don't even know that I live like this. Um, I've probably been, I've been here for 17 years, but I've probably been on the street for 22, 23 years. Dude, if you live like this for 17 years, to get out of this and just go into a home, when you're living in your home, it's almost like you're being in jail again. You don't know what to do. I'm Jay. Harriet with the 25th Project. We've uh, started the 25th Project in 2002 is when we started going out. 2010 is when we came up with the name the 25th Project. And so we've been doing that for about five years now and we've been working with the homeless in Woodbridge, Fairfax, and Washington DC. I think helping is, uh, the acronym we use is Healing, Educating, lasting partnerships and so we're trying to build a lasting partnership with the homeless and helping them in the educational process whether it's vocational training helping them so that they're actually getting back getting an education that will get them to speed so that they're going back and that they're working and that they're uh, back into society my name is rob been here five years and uh i'm from quantico the, the, when the economy went down, that's when I went down. So now that I'm part of the 25th project, because Jay took me underneath his wing, you know what I'm trying to say, he, he says he wants us to have a farm. So we're gonna do it anyway. That means a job for me. I'm not here to be mooching uh, 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 of this, of this world. It, it, it panhandling and expecting the world to do something for me. Jay says, now I want to give you an opportunity to do something for yourself. You know what will help me more than a case of water? Because I can get water anywhere. Um, someone trying to teach me something. Teach me something that I don't know. Teach me, help me to get out of here, and not to get out of here as a crut. Help me get out of here and to stay out of here. With all the other uh, businesses that are around, we should be able to get jobs and hire our people that are living right here. Would they go, would they go for it? That's the question. Uh, I think 30, 30% probably would. Uh, those are the ones that really want help, want to work. Uh, I think that there's other individuals that they don't want the help. They just want to maintain where they're at, which would be living in a tent. Uh, I just think that when we sit back and you look, you've got uh, nine of the 15 richest counties in the country within 100 miles of Washington, D.C. And I think that's where, uh, with the amount of prosperity that's in the area, we don't want, we shouldn't be having people live like this. Man, I'm just going up. I'm already at the bottom. Can't get no lower than this. So I, I'm, I'm trying to get up. I'm not asking for much out here. I'm not asking from the churches. Hey, 
Work me, I work like 10 men. Find me work. If I can get something simple, like an ID, I can get it from there. But if you can't help me from there, then come on. I mean, word of mouth only goes so far. Thing is, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to transition. So transition is a big step to getting out of this. And that's where education comes in. I'm glad that I'm in the United States. I am so thankful that I'm in the United States. Yeah, yeah, I'm hurting. I, ha I have need, I have need, right? Lord God, I ain't got a dollar in my pocket. God said, but you got shoes on your feet. I am very grateful for for, the, for for all that the United States people do for me. There ain't no greater country than this. Today is going to be the day that they're going to throw it back to you. By now, we should have somehow realized what we're going to do. You should have known that everybody feels the way I do about you now. I live in the greatest country in the world, the United States. 